Hi everyone, Adrian here and welcome to Wild Bush and Grid. Today I want to do a comparative review of uh, Two Shot Shell Reloader, the uh, popular Mech 600 Junior Mark V versus the uh, Lilo Doll 2 from Lee Precision. Uh, yeah, I know now you're saying, hey, this is not fair, there's one that is in Canada, at least $300 versus the other one, which is $100 and this is all fair and I will take that into consideration. The, um, knowing that, I still feel that there are some notable difference and both, both uh, reloaders are great and uh, they both have their pros and cons and we can, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go over that. But to, the, uh, to someone who's jumping into shot shell reloading, I think this is a good overview of what these two type of uh, press can do. And if you have the budget, what you're going to get with the mech. And if you're on a tight budget, or if you're on a tighter budget, what are you going to into with the Lido Doll 2? So let's jump right into it. All right. So they're both uh, single stage press, all right? And by that, what I mean is uh, you will have to move manually the shell from one station to the next one, all right? Uh, to, uh, to, to D prime, to prime, to add the powder, the shots, and the pre crimp, and then crimp. Okay, so, so far this is pretty basic. But this is where the similarities end because these two press are very, very different. So the mech, it's you know almost all metal. You have some pieces here and here that are going to be plastic, but the entire build it's strong. It's it's very solid. It's all you know metal, very sturdy, very solid. When you press that lever down, you know you, you feel there, there's a build quality to it, uh, as opposed to the little old two, which is mostly plastic, and you will have some pieces here and here in metal. It definitely feels like a toy, and you know, I remember a few years ago when I unboxed it, 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 I was, what, is that it? But don't let that discourage you. That little all too is plenty capable. I've loaded hundreds and if not thousands of shell uh, with it. The, um, it's just, don't, don't, don't let that plastic build discourage you because yes, it does work, okay? And actually, there are a few things that I prefer on the Little Doll 2 over the Mech. In terms of operation, um, the, the Little Doll is super easy to set up. It's going to take you like, you know, less than half hour. You'll set up and you're good to go. The Little Doll took me almost an entire afternoon to set up properly. Uh, and right now, it's super consistent, you know, from shell to shell. The only thing, and this is... So the consistency is a good thing on the mech, but it's also a con in the sense that if I were to use a mixed bag of various shell, uh, I will have to retweak a little bit the settings on my mech to, uh, to be able to have nice crimp on every, uh, every, every shell that I do. And the thing is the tolerance, once that mech is set to a specific hull, it's, uh, you know, it, it it's very, it's very capricious in terms of tolerance. You know, if you try to use other type of hulls, for example, a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, you will not have nice crimp. You will, you know, you might actually end up with a crush, uh, a crush shell. Or sometimes, you know, the the brass on some shells are a bit longer. It's gonna get stuck at the depriming stage. So, so what I would suggest to you, if you're using the mech, is to stick to one type of hull. And know that if you are to change brand or whatever, you might have to do some tweaking here and here before uh, having that consistent load. And that specific trait on the mech is due to when you press down that lever, okay, there are no over trouble. So the lever is set at the higher position and you go all the way up to the down position and then it's locked there. And then that's it, you know, your movement for that, the stage that you're at is done. And whether you're D prime, prime, uh, well, for adding the powder or just the shell, the, the shot doesn't count, but at the pre-crimp and the crimp, you press the lever all the way down. There's no way for you to over-travel at that point. So on the mech, you can do three inches and two and three quarter inches, but you'll have to set up the press depending on which size you want to load, okay? 
the Lee, however, you'll be able to charge two and three quarter inch or three inch in the same session if you want. And that's because you, uh, your hands and your, your pressure is the consistency here, okay? And once you activate that press, you are the one reaching down on the shell to cramp, up to pre-cramp, to cramp, to, uh, to do everything. So, um, so that way you're able to, uh, to first load a wide variety of, of uh, hulls, you know, without to, to tweak everything every time. And you'll be able also to swap from three inches to 23 quarter inches. So this is a plus on the cheap little doll too. Some features that I really like on the Mac, and I find you know that's completely lacking on the little on the load all too, is first you have removable bottles on top of the press where you know one bottle is your shot, the other bottle is your powder, and you can actually get more of these. So you could have four or five different types of powder in different bottle for five type of shots in different bottles and you have to, you know you can just swap them on on the go depending on the recipe that you're going for uh, you just flip the entire top screw unscrew screws the bottle and off you go on the load all two it's a bit more tedious uh, you have to flip over the entire press to empty uh, the um, the powder and the shots and how you and it's get tedious when you have powder and shot at the same time. You need to remove one or the other, right? And this is makes the whole ordeal uh, can become messy quite quite quickly. In terms of charge bars, uh, here I need to give the point to the uh, Lodal 2, where for a hundred dollar you get all bushings, everything you need to reload. Okay. For the make, you have one bar, which is this one. And you have to buy bushings separately. Uh, to be able to, uh, you know, to, to, to make your, your recipe. And I think if I remember correctly, yes, it's one, one and one eighth of, of an ounce for the lead. Okay, this is what this, this charge bar is. If your recipe calls for something else, then you'll have to go and buy additional charge bars and know that the powder measure is always the same hole where you use those bushings, but you have Essentially, all charge bar are specifically for the size of the, the for the weight of the shots that you want to use. Okay, so those are costs that you need to think also when you're buying your, your press because that press is already three hundred dollar and our each bar here was twenty four if I can remember correctly, and the bushings also are bought separately. So extra cost, extra cost, extra cost. As for a hundred dollar, the load all two gives you a complete set of bushings. Now to install the uh, the charge bar, much easier on the Mac because that flip, uh, you know, when you flip the, the bottle, it gives you access also to the charge bar. And so you just, there's only one nut to remove. You remove that handle that also act as a retainer and you can swap in, swap out the, um, the charge bar. Make sure that you don't lose that bushing in the process like I just did here. So overall, I think, you know, both are great, great tool. You know, the, the load all two served me really, really, really well. I think it still has a place in my, uh, in my workshop here. I'm still going to use it, especially like, you know, if I don't want to get finicky, for example, if I have like a bunch of holes that I just want to reload for, for fun, I'm going to do that on the, um, on the, uh, the load all two. Uh, and I'm going to keep my make for one specific type of haul. And this is for my hunting purposes, you know, when I'm going for duck hunts. For duck geese, I'm gonna use the Mac. The way it's set with my favorite haul at the moment, beautiful crimps. It's ah, perfection. So yeah, and that's it, folks. This is where this one ends. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Are you using one of these press? Let me know what you, what your thought are. You know, your experience could be different than mine. I do have another video where I cover in depth the Lodal Two, and so this is more of an overview of both. Uh, you know, and the main difference that I find between the two. So that's it. Have fun out there, be safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, oh and if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Please join the fun. See you, folks. Bye-bye.